You've started your marketing email and added a brilliant banner. Now let's build it. I'm Emily, and I'm gonna show you how to create your email content with modules. Modules are the building blocks of your emails. They contain placeholders where you can add text and images and buttons to create your campaigns. You can add as many modules as you like and rearrange them to suit your design needs. Let's take a look at modules in action. In edit mode, the module button displays at the bottom of your email. There are seven different types of modules. Image and text, where image displays on the left. Text and image, where image displays on the right. Text only, image only, section title, button, and divider. If you roll your cursor over the placeholder modules in the body of your email, you'll notice a highlight around them. Clicking the highlighted portion opens the module for editing. This is a text module. To edit the placeholder text, just highlight it and start typing or copy paste your text over the top of it. The formatting options for each module vary based on the module type you're working with. For example, the text module offers formatting options of header and subheader, bulleted and numbered lists, hyperlinking, text alignment, bolding, and italicizing. To format your text, highlight it and click an option. When you format text, you won't see it physically change in the edit field. Instead, you see markup. For example, when you bold a word, asterisks appear on either side of it. To see your formatting applied, click OK. Note that changing fonts or text styles in your email is done in the Styles tab. You can also change the module type by clicking the drop-down at the top middle of the module and selecting a new one. To add an image to a module, select one from the gallery and drag and drop it into place. To link an image or add a caption to it, click the Edit icon. In the Edit Image box, you can enter either or both of these features by entering the appropriate info in the respective field and clicking Save. Images can also be resized using either the Resize button or by rolling your cursor over the bottom corner of the image and dragging it to the desired size. And of course, the trash can lets you delete the image. The image module enables you to add a full width image, but can also be used to add a collection of smaller images in a single row. Let me show you what I mean. First, I'll add the initial image and click the pencil icon in the bottom right. At the bottom of the image, click the plus sign and another image placeholder is added. You can keep adding up to four images. Adding a divider module to your email is a great way to break up content and improve readability. Section title modules are another way to improve readability as well as drawing attention to specific content in your email. These special text blocks display as H1 or header text in the body of your email. A section titles font can be changed independent of the other text types in the style editor. It's important to remember that each module functions as a layout section in the body of your email. To rearrange your modules, open them in edit mode and click and hold on the up and down arrow icon on the left. Now just drag the module where you want it. To delete a module, click the trash icon in the upper right corner. Decide you want it back, just click the undo delete icon. Now that you know how modules work in GoDaddy email marketing, take them for a spin on your own and customize your own email content. I'm Emily, thanks for watching.